Hello, in this lecture we are giving a short overview of stability. Analyte stability is not universally included in validation guidelines as a validation parameter. However, stability is a very important parameter in bioanalytics. In bioanalytics, the instability of analyte is rather a rule, not an exception. Therefore, it is necessary to understand if the analyte is unstable, how un unstable the analyte is, and moreover, could we do something to improve analyte stability? Analyte stability must be ensured during the sample collection, processing, storage, extraction and duration of analysis to generate reliable analytical or bioanalytical data. Therefore, stability tests can be one of the most time-consuming tests in the validation procedure. Stability is lowering of analyte content in the sample over a period of time. If analyte is unstable, then uh, concentration in the sample decreases over the time period. If analyte is stable, then the concentration remains the same all the time, meaning the concentration will be 100% over the time period. Decomposition usually leads to the lowering of analyte content. However, in the specific case of analysis of decomposition products, the decomposition can actually lead to increase of analyte content. If analyte is unstable, its decomposition influences both trueness and precision, since both systematic and random effects are usually involved of a process. However, it's still necessary to evaluate stability as a separate parameter and not include it uh, to the trueness and precision measurements if the analyte is really unstable. The rate of decomposition can be strongly dependent on fine experimental date details, including matrix, access of oxygen, temperature, light, and so on. Furthermore, besides the analyte, the samples analyte in the standards can also be decomp decomposing. If both occur at the same rate, then decomposition only affects, affects precision. If not, then both trueness and precision are affected. In addition, EMA guide stresses that anal analyte stability cannot be proven by literature data, further outlying the importance of analyte stability testing. But let us see now more closely in the next lecture different types of stability and what influences the stability. Thank <laughs> you.